different fabrics that I would like different clothes I would wear, different fabrics like I remember vividly like smocking on a dress or like a velveteen dress that I had. I remember just the feeling of that. Yeah, the kind of like, I guess kind of like slight luxury that I felt with that dress as a 10 year old girl. And the, I guess the more natural materials I suppose more come from kind of play, like from like playing in the trees and playing with plants and that kind of thing, you know, like daisy chains or whatever. Again, I kind of like that contrast, I guess, of something really natural that's sort of easily moulded and kept very clean and basic against something that's um, more industrial and hard and made of just sort of everyday stuff that we find around us. My DNA is part of the process and the making. I mean, like in the physical contact that you have with it, your DNA is fed into that as an object because you are part of that making process and because they're one-offs. I mean, it's something that grows with the leather and it becomes part of it. You do become part of the object. I always work with leather. I, I think it's because I really love the smell of it. And mm -hmm. um, it's also a material that is, I think it's from all fabrics, the one that is um, the nearest or similar to our own skin. wood in the same way as a natural form, taking something that's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years and then you're making it something brand new, giving it a new purpose, a new life. I could feel the sound of the cotton crunching as I wrapped the quilt around my finger and put it up to my cheek. Materials have emotions, and how do we give these emotion structures? How do we drive the science changing the manufacturing landscape? How do we give vision and poetry to the things we make?